It's the health alert now. We hear over and over how important tick checks are when it comes to preventing Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses. But how often are you checking your dogs rolling and playing in areas where they're prone to hiding? Veterinarians also encourage prevention pills for dogs and in some cases even a Lyme vaccine. Tonight, News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla is looking into why there's one for them, but not us. We're seeing a lot more ticks in this area, so we're also seeing a lot more, a lot more exposure to Lyme disease. It's kind of terrifying. We're not safe from ticks, and neither are our pets. Typically, the early signs that families will see are mopey, lethargic, kind of achy dogs, or lame on one leg, and then maybe the other leg a few days later. I'm just, I don't feel very good. To an extreme, Lyme disease can cause kidney failure. We can use repellent and check for ticks, but man's best friend can take monthly pills, wear a collar, and get a yearly vaccine, something we used to have the option of. The Valneva vaccine, which is basically um, uh, a retread, for lack of a better term, of the old vaccine that GlaxoSmithKline uh, previously had on the market. Dr. Chris Paulino with Upstate Medical University tells me a vaccine for people is in the works. It's based off one from the 90s. But it wasn't available for long. In 1999, a lawsuit was filed against the drug company by people claiming they developed arthritis after getting the vaccine. They realized it probably wasn't the vaccine that was causing these symptoms, and they weren't sure what it was. So the company pulled it in 2002. Now it's working to recreate that vaccine, but it's only in phase two. And hopefully they'll, they'll go into phase three in a larger endemic population, hopefully Syracuse being one of them. So is Lyme really getting that much worse or are people just now starting to talk about it more? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, I think that it's a combination of the two things. I do think that there are more ticks and there are more ticks with infections. And Paulino doesn't think a vaccine will be ready for us for at least another five to six years, which is why he urges you to be vigilant with tick checks and protect your pets. Your flea and tick preventions are the most important standby, but that vaccine gives us a little bit more protection. Making sure our furry friends stay healthy and keep that wagging tail too. In Syracuse, Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. The vaccine for dogs is given once a year, but you are advised to talk with your vet and make sure it's right for your pup.